Yes, hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the location and for the watch this broadcast, my name is Tilly Apostle and friend of John Oyinosa. The man with the talk am, the show am, the do am, as he be, the street commissioner. I get this message for the deputy governor. Right, Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibo. Let the governor breathe. The deputy governor of Edo State, let the gov let Obaseki breathe. Not be only you one first starts to become the deputy governor of Nigeria. In Nigeria. Not be only one first start to become deputy governor in Nigeria. Now the truth is this. If you get ambition to take contest, why not resign? After all, if you get ambition, resign and contest. Go and get your nomination form and contest. Instead of this unnecessary drama where you did display. So, Comrade, uh, Comrade Philip Shaibo, stop displaying this unnecessary drama of trying to gather public sympathy. Few weeks ago, or a week back, I dare aware, say, you know, say, your office has been relocated from the government house to number seven of Sadebe Avenue. You dare aware. Even when your staff relocated, you dare aware. How can you not come to say you are not aware, you have not been served any letter for crying out loud? Nobody, you start to become the deputy governor in Nigeria. The truth is this anybody, when he gets political ambition, is your personal choice. Nobody is stopping you from pursuing your ambition. But stop dragging the governor unnecessarily, trying to gather a public sympathy. To me, it does not make sense. You are a comrade for crying aloud. Now, let's check. During the presidential election, there were so many candidates who won contest. They were asked to resign. They were asked to resign. So many ministers resigned. Even Amechi resigned to contest the presidential election. Now, you cannot contest or aspire on any political office while you are still in that office. While you are still in the office. It is totally unacceptable. If nobody is stopping you, you want contest, you get ambition. It is your personal choice and right. Nobody they deprive you of that right. But you should stop dragging the governor unnecessarily. Your office has been relocated from the government house since last week. You dare where? So why try to gather use media to gather sympathy? I don't understand. Do you think the Edo uh, people are foolish? No. We know how the former administration struggle Odubu. is struggle Odubu that Odubu no able say one carry comrade go court. First of all, this issue with the Now you generate this problem by yourself just to discredit the governor. Now you still have a year and few months in office. Why not finish well with the governor? Now you are dragging up Baseki up and down using media propaganda to drag the governor. Please let the governor breathe. Yes, based on my research, you are one of the richest deputy governor in Nigeria. Why? Because the governor gave you free hand. You have so many business tied to your name. So many offices tied to your name. Even when the governor go on vacation, he relinquishes power to you. Can you tell me in Nigeria one state governor when he hand over or transmit power to the deputy governor? I know they. Because the governor take you as his own brother to see how we can make Edo great again. So why all this unnecessary distraction, all this drama? We don't need this drama for crying out loud. If you want contest, honorably resign. Resign. And get form. Not all this drama you are displaying. To me, this drama does not make sense. Ah, my people go to your in diaspora. In diaspora. Monisa. Oh, yeah, well, so. Yeah, my brother Kazim. Then, uh, Idehem Patrick, God bless you. I'm seeing all of you this morning. Mommy Rosa, yeah, I'm seeing all of you this morning. But we really need to handle this matter. We need to talk as it be. 
We know how the former governor of Comrade uh, 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 Adam Osumole is Trango Odubu. Odubu no can go court. Adam no support the the uh, the, the governorship ambition of Odubu. Odubu no can go court. Odubu no cause unnecessary media uh, media propaganda media war. Odubu did not do it. Odubu still recognized that, that uh, Comrade Adam Ashumole is still his boss. But today you want to become boss over boss. I don't understand. If Odubu no carry Ashumole go court, he not drag the man name anyhow because Ashumole not support the ambition of Odubu. Most most obviously can support your ambition. Must Obaseki support your ambition? No. Obaseki must not support your ambition. It is not a must. Therefore, let the governor breathe. Let the governor breathe. So, enough of this noise. Trying to gather uh, media sympathy. You are coming online, creating unnecessary war, creating unnecessary noise. When there are more jobs to be done, it's up to join hand with the governor to finish what you have started. What you have started now, you are creating unnecessary noise. Say you are not even aware that your office has been relocated. To me, it doesn't make sense for crying out loud. So, Deputy Governor Shaibu, please let the governor breathe. Not be only you want to start to be Deputy Governor in Nigeria. To me, it doesn't make sense for crying out loud. Not be you first time. If you want to contest, it is your right. Don't, don't drag everybody into the mud. Resign. Resign honorably. Tender your resignation letter. They're telling the people, I am officially going, I'm resigning because I want to contest. Period. Nobody will stop you. Go to the feed and test your popularity. To start dragging the governor's name on net. Please, let the governor breathe. Let the governor breathe. Let the governor breathe. Enough is enough of this noise. Enough. The governor gave you power. The governor gave you so many offices to, to oversee. And it is not a must that the governor must support you. It is not a must. Therefore, let the governor breathe. Deputy Governor Shaibu. Please, I beg you, let, enough of this noise. Enough is enough of this noise. Not be only one day. There are so many states in Nigeria that people don't even know the deputy governor. They don't even, they don't even know their name. But Obaseki give you relevant. Now, let me shock you. The issue that Obaseki have today with Wike and PDP members, it is because of you, Comrade Philip Shaibu. Now you are not trying to uh, create unnecessary to gather media sympathy, to gather sympathy from the public. Then the governor lock you out of your office, my friend. Go to your office at number seven on Sadebe Avenue. That's where your office is. Lagos State Deputy Governor, nobody know him. Nobody know him. Like I don't talk now. If you want contest, nobody will stop you. Simply resign. Resign. Go and get your money, nomination for go to the feet. To test your popularity. Make you let us hear word. Enough is enough. Of this noise. Not the only one start to be deputy governor of a do not be only one start up. You are not the first and you are not going to be the last. But the truth must be told. You are causing unnecessary distraction for the state. Causing unnecessary distraction. So you to focus with your principal to end the tenor successfully by creating unnecessary issue. Trying to drag to, to, to paint the government bad. To me, that's witchcraft. And it is not a must that the, everybody must support you. So, Shaibu, if you want to contest, resign. Period. Resign. 
then announce officially that you want to contest. This issue where they grant now you feel shy when I caution now you fair carry your basket go court for no reason because of fear of the unknown. If you want to decamp, resign and decamp. Ah. So and we need to call a spade a spade. The governor actually gave you a lot of free hand. Abasa can give you free hand well, well. And you should not take it for granted. Do not take the simplicity of a man for granted. Just that the man is not talking. You want to make him feel. Please excuse me. Excuse me, please. Yes, I'm on a live broadcast, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, sir. I'm on a live broadcast. Yes, I do on live broadcast. I'll call you back when I finish. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, guys, we must say the way it is. When I share the broadcast, enough. Let there be peace in it, though. For can you possibly get a year, a year, a few months? Now you are creating a necessary problem. Create a necessary problem. This is totally unacceptable. And this is an insult to us, the adults. When a, uh, when a comrade, uh, uh, Shomole, mess up Odubu, Odubu not carry and go court. Odubu not, you know, you know, they call it, come, come in house, they disturb unnecessarily. No. How can I can you be? Creating problem necessarily. Trying to gather public sympathy. Lagos State Deputy Governor, nobody know. River State Deputy Governor, nobody know them. How many governors for Nigeria now they give they give uh, they transmit power to the deputy? How many? How many of them they transmit power to their deputy? Which uh, Governor Basaki have done successfully? He transmit power to you. But we know how you that for that one month. We know what happened. We know what play out. You're not taking the the silent of Obasaki for granted. So, sir, please. Nobody is against your admission. You have every right to contest. But stop dragging the name of the governor unnecessarily. The governor say no support you. Uh -huh. But should force out to support you. Is it by force? And the governor is not stopping you from contesting. So resign. Come to think of it. How you go say power come out from a donut, come and do south. The power come go back to a donut. Does that make sense? No, no, I'm not going to talk. Power left a donut to a do south. And you are saying that the same power should return back to a do not. No, now. For, for, for fairness and equity, the power should go back to a do central. For equity and justice, let the power go to a do central. That's just it. Are you telling me that you are the most qualified? You are not. Check them now. How power will come up from a do not come south? The power that will come go back to a do south. I don't understand. My papa, check him now. I don't understand. So please let the governor breathe. Let Obaseki breathe. Very, very important. The governor should breathe. Enough is enough of this unnecessary distraction. Enough. Is enough of all this unnecessary distraction. Enough is enough of this unnecessary distraction. If you want to contest, as I've said before, resign. Resign and let the governor breathe and let there be peace in it, though. Now that you want to start to be deputy governor of the state. Now that you want to start to become the deputy governor of it, though. No, be only you want. Or do people not drag the name of Oshobele up and down? Or do people not carry the name of Oshobele and they go court up and down? 
or somebody not go guy, or to not go come house to go to fight with the governor. By the way, your office has been relocated, which you are aware. For the fact that your staff is aware you are aware, and the letter was transmitted to you on the 15th of this month. Are you pretending not to see the letter? Because you want to fight your boss. So they won't leave you now. You go, you, you attack him. You attack him. So we need to protect the governor from you. We fear no soul, but we respect us so. We fear nobody, but we respect everybody. And we must begin to call a spade a spade. We must begin to call a spade a spade. Enough is enough of this unnecessary embarrassment. Enough is enough of this unnecessary embarrassment. Make we let peace there do. Let there be peace. There can never be meaningful development in a state where there is no peace. And you must not fight with your principal. Your principal said, I'm not going to support you. So, rest. If you want, if you have it in mind, the more the more to contest, Oga, resign. Quietly resign. Quietly resign. So I'm going to know where we did. Than creating unnecessary noise on social media, trying to gather public sympathy. The governor gave you free hand to, to do things you need to do. The governor not deny you of anything one day. The governor give you different ministry to oversee. Yeah, I'm alive now. Yeah. So the, the governor gave you everything you need to work with as a deputy governor. The governor did not deny you of your duty one day. Who is this place? Hello. Yeah, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, we must continue to do the right thing. We must do the right thing. So I do people, I do is one. Let us all join together to make Edo great great again. Edo can only become great and fruitful when there is massive peace and progress. Must our name always be on media? For no reason? Yeah, let's think. Let's think. Think over this matter. All we want is peace. All we want is peace. You guys should settle yourself amicably. Now you carry the governor go court. Now you have withdrawn the case from the court. Why not do the needful? If you so have the ambition to contest, quietly resign. Quietly resign and pursue your ambition. Now my take be this. Quietly resign and pursue your ambition so that peace will reign in our state. The governor is a good man and the governor gave you free hand to operate. Yes, the governor gave you free hand to operate. Even during the presidential election, a lot, of, a lot of candidates, they resign from their position. Even when Osibajo get the ambition to contest as the president of Nigeria, he not carry body go court. Yeah. He not carry body go court. To say body, you must hand over power to me by fire, by force. Or see, but you not cause unnecessary media war. Or see, but you not drag the name of Bo former President Bari in the mud.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. Mm. It's okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, nobody will feel stop me, me cannot talk. I will talk. <laughs> I will talk. Now, as I talk, sorry, as I talk before. Number one, the deputy governor never approached the governor officially to say, ah, His Excellency, sir, I want to contest my elder brother. Then two, the deputy governor never really come out but he doesn't move with different stakeholders so they let them know say he won't contest he won't become governor but he never officially tell his boss to say ah, my oga my elder brother i beg go i want contest officially make it the news yes let's see the way it is who is actually the victim here now now the same deputy governor Nine first go court. Why? Say because uh, and the governor will get your time. I want us to be realistic. I want to really sit down and analyze this matter. Bro, make we analyze this matter. Make we throw away sentiment. In all of this, now you fake come public space to the drag the name of the governor in the mud. A do at 32. We know what he play out for church. For government house. Even on Monday of that program. You walk out on a governor from uh, the work out of a uh, other past governor of the state. Why? Because they don't allow your press crew and security detail into the program. That was an insult. Guys, let's. Make we really look this matter. That was an insult on a dope people, the entire dope people. Now, they don't allow your security detail and press crew enter the event. Why not tell your guys, they outside, then you attend the program. But instead, you walk out on the governor, you walk out on all the dignity that was on ground. Does that make sense? 
all the past governor, the past, uh, the, I mean, the current senators and the rest. Gamu, check them now. If actually the deputy governor actually respect the entire Edo people, he would have not walked out on the governor that very day, on that very day. On that very day. So which means, now you play this, you are trying to play the card of being a victim, that the government is trying to victimize you. No! Now you, the deputy governor, they victimize the governor. Trying to soil the name of the governor unnecessarily, taking the quietness of the governor for granted. Guys, make we throw with sentiment, make we address this matter the way it's supposed to be. Let's address this matter. If the deputy governor could walk out on the governor on a door at 32, just because they don't allow your security detail to enter, they don't allow your press crew to enter, they will not walk out on the governor. God, let's, let's be realistic. Does that really make sense? That is outright disrespect on the entire Edo people. Outright disrespect on the governor. Pure disrespect. Yeah, that's the truth of the matter. Even the on Sunday service, one of the alerts uh, the governor don't let you greet uh, he don't let you greet him. Now you go look for trouble. The the security said no, we don't want you to go close to our boss. Day or day. And you say they don't have the right to protect their boss, they do. So guys, let's think out of the boss. Make we throw away sentiment and address this matter the way it should be addressed. Who is actually a victim here? Is a governor. Not the deputy governor, the governor himself. Because they know they 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 they, 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 they don't allow your, your media crew. For criminal like that, government has crew on ground. The government has media crew on ground. They don't allow your media crew and security detail to enter the program. They, you, you can't enter your motto. You can't drive, come on, zoom to gain public sympathy. If actually you come for that program, why not tell your security detail, yeah, make it on the outside. Then you see that you attend the program. You can't enter your motto, you can't come out. That one alone is enough. For you to do a broadcast on the national telly to apologize to the governor and to the entire Edo people. And all the past governor who came for that event, you were supposed to do a broadcast to apologize to everybody. Because you cannot just walk out on a program like that. Just because they don't allow your security detail and press crew to enter the event. When there's already enough security men on ground. For crying out loud, even your press crew, your people, they came late. How will your principal be on ground before you? How will a gov your gov your 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 brother, your elder brother, according to you, with other past governor, sit down before you come? Why not be saying that you first sit down, they come drive you come out? Then the world will say, "Hey, governor, why you not allow this man sit down now? Now you come late." Now you find trouble, now you still come out, and now you see they want to try to gather public sympathy. That's witchcraft. Guy, that one is now pure witchcraft. Pure witchcraft. Pure witchcraft. I mean, pure witchcraft. Pure witchcraft. So, guys, we will not allow this thing to happen. We know how you tell move around. To meet with some APC, Lawrence uh, 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 rest. We know how you try to take over the House of Assembly, but it don't work for you. Fail. Why are you so desperate? Why the deputy governor so desperate? The question is this: Why is the deputy governor so 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 desperate? Why is so desperate? This is uncalled for, and it's, this is totally unacceptable. Okay, somebody's trying to call. Let me see. 
trying to call. Who is this place? Let me return this call. Let's say the way it is. Let's say the way it is. Let those that have wisdom sit down to listen to what I'm saying. Let us reason together. Let us reason together. If the governor is wrong, or if the governor have done anything to warrant this public embarrassment, of a truth, His Excellency Governor Gordon Obaseki does not deserve this unnecessary media embarrassment against his person, which is being orchestrated by the Deputy Governor. The governor does not deserve this treatment. Obasek cannot deserve this embarrassment. He does not deserve it. Obasek cannot deserve this embarrassment at all. He not deserve him. The governor is a great man. He's a good man. If you want to contest, go and meet your principal and tell him officially. Then seek for his blessing. Then you resign. Resign and fight and go your way. <laughs> now, wow. Hello, sir. Damo, sir. Yes, I'm on yeah, live. I'm on live broadcast. All right, no problem, sir. All right, sir. Damo, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So. To me, me, I will advise the deputy governor to just resign officially, then pursue your dream. It was since on the 13th, the deputy governor received the letter. Since on the 13th, he received the letter. So let the governor breathe, man. Let the governor breathe. Very, very important. Let the governor breathe. Let Obaseki breathe. So, guys, now, now that I see everything we play out, and uh, enough of this unnecessary media propaganda, media hype, just to want try to discredit the governor. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Thank you, guys, for sharing the broadcast. So, Deputy Governor, Commerce, uh, Philip Shaibu, let the governor breathe. Now, what I want you to tell me that, let Obaseki breathe. Edomot be great again. Bless you.